Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Bhai. Special cases in permutation without restriction. As I told you in the last video, this permutation means the arrangement and where we are writing, arrange all the objects. So all the objects means what we can do now, we have to just use the formula. When we are talking about all the objects, we write n factorial and the total of like total objects are n n factorial or you can write n p n for example we have a b c and d so we write 4 factorial or we can write 4 p 4 second is what arrange one object from n objects so it means from n objects what we have to do like we have to write n p r for example i want to use like there are n total is n is 4 and I want to use like the arrangement of two objects only. So R will be 2 and I will write 4 P2 and use calculator and get the answer. Now arrange one object from N objects. So one object from N we write N P1. This is very simple. Then like this N P2 or like 4 P2 or like 4 P1. Arrange one particular object from n objects. This is a little bit different. We write 1 p 1. One particular object is very important. Even the total numbers are whatever. No problem. But we write 1 p 1. Arrange any one object from n objects. We write the same here. Here. n p 1. The object. Here actually like it can be like here we are like, talking about only a. Only b. Only c. Or only b. But here we can use A, B, C or D, any one object, but it's only one. So this is only the special cases in permutation. I would like to use some uh, questions from the new edition math mathematics book, Cambridge system. So let's start. So moving to question number one of exercise 13.2. Find the total number of different permutation of all the letters. All the letters means there is no restriction. We just need what, how many uh, alphabets are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we just write here 6 factorial. And the 6 factorial, when you use your calculator, is coming about, I think, the 120. No, 720. This is 720, is 6 factorial. Or you can write 6P6. is also coming 6. When you write 6P6, is coming also 720. So is up to you to use 6 factorial or 6 p 6 part b we have like the same all the letters are used so 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and the 9 factorial or 9 p 9 is coming 3 6 2 8 8 0 there are these like possibilities this we can write the secondary alphabets here or there but in like here, uh, like we have about nine positions one, two, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we can write these now, like secondary anywhere. So we are having these possibilities. In question number two, find the total number of different four digits and the four digits number using all the digits. Like there is no restriction, no restriction means just we have to write here. Like 4 factorial or we can write 4 p 4 is up to you. So 4 factorial means 4 multiplied by 3, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 1 is coming about I think so 24. You can even check with the calculator like 4 and it's coming 24 right. Moving to question number 3 now. Question number 3 we have like uh, uh, the following duties need to be carried out. Clean the board, one, arrange the tables, three, uh, sweep the floor, and the fourth is clear all water waste basket. Okay. Find number of ways uh, assigning uh, these four duties. Okay. Four students give, and each student will perform only one duty. Okay. So this is the same thing actually, like we're, uh, like uh, there are four duties are there, and four uh, students. Uh, uh, can have this duty, this duty, this or this. So this is the same thing we have the 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 or you can write 
तो फोर फैक्टोरियल इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर in a particular division soccer league there are six sorry nine teams nine teams how many end of the season ranking are possible in no ties okay ranking means in the first like the first rank second third nine ranks are there so it's nine factorial and nine factorial is equal to once again 3 6 2 8 8 0 Like uh, these nine teams, they have these possibilities to have the rank. Like we can like the first team, like there four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The team A can be here, B can be here, C can be here, D can be here. There are nine possibilities. Second, when first team is here, use then eight, and then seven, then six, then five, four, three, two, and one, and we multiply because of basic counting principle. We have done this nine factorial. Okay, uh, question number five. There are five finalists in a uh, rhetorical competition. Okay, in the competition, rhetorical competition are there. Like how many uh, ways they can be arranged? These speeches. Uh, sorry, yes, speeches. So we can write uh, five factorial. And five factorial is one twenty. And even we can check the answer of question number five is one twenty four is going right. Then we have question number six, last question I'm doing here. Four students uh, go to the dinner and order the ham like hamburger, fish burger, cheese burger, and the beef burger. One burger for each. So the same condition we have like here to four into three into two into one. Or you can write four factorial, and four factorial is equals to twenty-four. As we have seen, the answer is twenty-four, right? So by this way, we just did only the permutation without restriction. The next video, maybe I will be discussing very important topic: this permutation with restriction. So many restrictions are there, and these type of questions we have in the examination. So thank you so much for watching my video, and have a nice day.